Hello guys, welcome back to the Leeds United career mode here on YouTube. This is episode number five and today we have another three games for you and can have a cup action. So let's just get into it. Before we start all that, let's recap what happened in the previous episode. We firstly played Watford at home and beat them 3-1. A comfortable result. Again, another high scoring result, which seems to be a general trend we're getting this season. Then we went away to St. Mary's and beat Southampton 3-0 and quicks in the rest of the game because we were already winning within 30 minutes. Then we played Wolves, where we changed the difficulty to Legendary just to see what happened. We went from being 1-0 to 3-1 down and managed to draw the game 3-0 in the end and as you would have seen just a minute ago what we're doing in today's episode we'll be playing the Cabo Cup round four game against Chelsea then we'll be going to Carrow Road against Norwich and then we'll be finishing off against Leicester at home we are going to be using the legendary difficulty again today just to see what happens because the results have been getting really unrealistic if I'm being honest we're currently like third I think in the table in the Premier League which I think again that's a bit unrealistic second sorry just two points off top we're really as expected to be about you know sixth or so but you know look at the amount of goals scored 27 to 18 conceded it's just yeah i'm gonna see what happens if we got a legendary against chelsea well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion it is chelsea they take on Leeds united live on ea tv United starting 11. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. Right, we've rotated the side out just, well, not just a little bit, quite a bit, but we are actually starting um, a few of our you know, starting 11 players. Phillips, McKenney, uh, Urente and Ailing are all staying in the side, but we are also bringing in some of the second or well, second team players, the youth players, just to try and give us a chance because I don't want to really use like first team players in the cup because I like to prioritise the league. I think this season that's what we should be doing will be a, here's the car coming into the box now he's into mount good save Melier I was confident that was going in to be honest Fern has got past two tackles there gets a shot Melier should be doing so much better there he really should be doing so much better I don't actually understand one I mean I, I guess you know the skill works but like what has Melier done there it's straight at him I don't get me wrong, he's been amazing for us this season, in my opinion. But look at that. He has his hand literally there. His hand's literally there and just pulls it out of the way. 
Oh, he's Chilwell. Tries to put a cross in. Puts the ball for Werner. Head that clear. Not straight to Kante. Good save, Melio. I don't know why you couldn't do that earlier. I can't believe how we've just conceded that. I don't actually understand how that's been that's got in. Like, so the amount of space that he's left in, that's just unbelievable. Like, that's what I mean, like, how we've actually defensively let that go in, basically. I think we have to make another substitution here, whilst we still have a chance of getting back into the game. And you. Two more attacking substitutions. Try and get us at least a goal. Fina. And James. What's he done there? What have you done there? I want you to shoot and you've just touched it around the keeper. This is actually frustrating because who was it that was on the overlap just then? Was not being watched at all. Werner, click, what are you doing there? Like, what is that? What are you actually doing? It's got to be a foul. Come on, like, free kick. This is an opportunity for us to score. And what's his curl? Let's just double check his curl. Okay, 81. About there. Yellow timed. Come on! What a free kick from Rafinha. Curled right into that top right corner. That was absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have a sip of tea after that one. Oh my god. Why is Lukaku in so much space? What is going on there in the box? Like, what is that for marking? Look at this. The Kaku comes through, no one does anything. Phillips, you're right next to it and you don't do anything. <laughs> just when I thought we had an opportunity to get back in the game, we've just let ourselves back out of it again. Because we can't actually seem to face any of the big sides in the league. I just he was left in so much space. Like space that shouldn't you rentate, you should be winning that. Oh, that's it, I'm done. I'm honestly done. Like, this game sometimes just makes me so angry that I don't actually want to play. Like, I might not come across as angry at all, but I am really, really angry at that one. We're out of the Cowboy Cup. But I can't, I can't believe that's just happened. Rafinha's 84, hooray. We'll be kicking off here at Carrow Road. Hope I'd like us to win. But obviously, that will keep that will still as that will also still keeps in the top four. Um, but like I was saying, 
I'm more just interested to see what happens with. He won the ball. Are you mad? I'm just more interested to see what happens. The fact that we're playing on legendary. Because. That's really all this is experimenting. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. We've just conceded another goal because that's all we do is concede. Like, where is the defence off, though? I mean, oh my goodness. Rodrigo, how can you not keep hold of the ball? Firpo, oh, you've got to get in front of him. I'd like to ask about where Cox's positioning is. Like, why is he so far across the pitch? Like, look how much space that you've got. Who is that? Trossard? I think it is. Yep, he's just floating about there. That's a nice ball over the top. <sighs> We've managed to get one goal back. But that's all at the moment. I just can't, I don't understand how that just works, like, you know, just make mistakes, and more mistakes, and more mistakes, and it's not actually that they're harder, but some that's a lovely ball, to be fair. Across goal. Hey, there we go. Managed to equalise against Norwich. It's nice. Over the top for Rodrigo. Right foot. Yeah, that's it. There we go. We're now winning against Norwich. Just nice build up, nice build up. I'll give you that, guys. And a lovely control and finish from Rodrigo. Finally scores, taking him a while to get another goal. <sighs> cool, could have done a bit better there, to be honest. But he finishes from a tight angle. And we're now 3 2 up. We've gone from 2 0 down to 3 2 up. Please put in a tackle. Please select the right player as well. I want Cody. I don't want Phillips. I want Cody. And yet, of course, the game does not select him. And it selects somebody else instead. It's a banging goal. I'll give him that. But exactly not what I wanted to happen. Sergeant into Trossard to Chollis. I don't actually understand why my players can't put tackles in. I really don't understand it. I want a tackle to be made. I don't want you just to stand there. And do absolutely nothing. It's really frustrating. As we are now 4-3 down to Norwich. Seven goal thriller. Woohoo. Don't actually understand like why. This is again. This is what I mean. Where you're on legendary. It's just you know. Your players aren't doing what you want them to do. And they just make mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. Like, what kind of a touch is that, Rafinha? Norwich wouldn't play like this. They wouldn't actually press. They don't press at all. They sort of just stand off the ball and wait for you to make a mistake. And that's it. They keep just pressing. You're there like, great. Here's Tyler Roberts now. Hooray. Four all. Let, 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 let's go. All right, Dan James. Play it through for Gellhart. He's not going to get... Maybe will. He's chipped the keeper for his first goal in the Premier League. This is such a horrible result. I don't know why I'm excited. I, I guess it's just the fact we managed to nab a win right at the end. Gohart chipped Tim Krull in front of the Leeds fans as well. But that's it. 5-4. I don't know why you're celebrating. You've done practically nothing today. <sighs> I, I, that was a good pass, to be fair, from Dan James. Krull should have kept coming. He committed at first and then stopped. But then Gohart with the right foot chipped finish. Lovely composure from the lad. Win at Carrow Road, like I wanted us to, however, not in the fashion I wanted us to. I, would I don't mind scoring five goals against Norwich, but I wish I didn't concede four. Right, what could I do here to make it, I suppose, increase their errors like that? Uh, this is for Legendary, by the way, because that's what I'm on. I'm going on Legendary. I don't want to change anything to this or their positioning. I suppose just increase all their error ones to 60, I guess. And drop that down a little bit. 40. And just see what happens. 
Um, we'll all say the same, we'll sell our 50s. Right, before we get to the Leicester game, I've just put together a different lineup. A three, a three at the back. This is a 3 4 1 2, or what it should be. Um, with probably the players I'd use for that position. I'd prefer if I had a right footed right mid, um, which I could use James for. Ailing would be okay, but he's not worth the pace. Um, but I think, you know, we can't not have Rafinha, and I don't really fancy put Rafinha on the left. I think also Harrison just as much is good which is ju just as good as Rafinha um, in my opinion I think, to us um, I would originally like to have had Firpo maybe because he's a bit better defensively then he's not just a bit he's much better defensively he's much better defensively um, than Harrison but like I say I think he gets a minus four if he plays at that left mid position which I don't think is going to be very good for us so I think I'm just going to keep it this way um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm going to try this one out against Leicester and hopefully it will get us something. Right, I'm actually quite excited to use this formation, the 3 4 one, 2 I have used it before, um, not with this team though, um, but I, and I have actually quite liked it when I did use it. So I hope it works because it'll be something, you know, I, I know then that if we need to, we can swap into another system. Um, only problem is just, you know, against pacey attackers, the three at the back with the likes of Cody and Koch who don't have the greatest of pace. Um, might struggle a little bit to keep up, but it should. I think it could work having possibly a two up top system. Gail Hart, who did score in the previous game, I think it was. Can he score again against Schmeichel? Puts it onto his right foot. I think Schmeichel got a touch onto that, to be fair. Oh, good save, Melier. Cody should have got to the ball, though, then with that pass. Oh, dear. I let them through. That's completely my fault. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to say that was completely my fault, to be honest. I think we could have done a bit better in terms of watching the ball. But just before we get into the second half, this, you know, I'm, I might actually have to play a bit higher up because we're not actually winning the ball back where I'd like us to, um, which is a bit frustrating, really. It's been okay using the three at the back, but it's like, there is, there is pockets of space forming inside that defensive three, which I was not very comfortable with. I mean, it's not a per this isn't a permanent change. It's just to see what it's like to use a different formation. Lovely build-up play again. You've got to stay on to that, Gohart. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Got ourselves back into the game. A bit lucky there. 
But what a goal from Patrick Bamford. Um, I think let's try Rodrigo as a striker. And then we're going to bring on Tyler Roberts, I suppose, as a... No, we'll bring on Firpo. We'll put Harrison as an attacking mid, like that. And see what happens there. Because I can't seem to play Rodrigo as a playmaker. Even though he played the through ball for Galhart, who ended up heading it. And then Bamford over head kicking in that one in. Can't really get him to do anything. And his shooting stats are quite good. So I'd like to see sort of what we can do if we try to use them. Oh no, Chelemans. Oh, we've done it again. They've run in behind. And the same man who scored earlier has just scored again. It's quite a similar goal. Drew out a tackle into the, that pocket of space that they've managed to create. Just what you want, isn't it? You equalise and then just... I mean, it's not... I think this is trying to realise it was all losing 2-1. Mm -hmm. Cop... I was trying to get a foul on him, on Martial, and he just wouldn't foul him. He just wouldn't put his leg in. He's just putting on his shirt. That's not doing anything. Oh, my goodness, Bamford. He's like two feet away from you. Okay, Firpo, that's lovely. Good run. You've got the space, mate. You've got the space. Lovely finish from Junior Firpo. Pick up that ball, and let's get this back on the goal, li oh, on the goal, on the halfway line and try and win this game. Okay, Rodrigo, you're through. Let's go, Rodrigo. Come on, let's do this. Top right. Let's go. Yes! There we go. Come on, 90th minute, and we've managed to grab ourselves another late equaliser. Ooh. I don't know why I'm by them. I'm not actually allowed to be there. But, you know, whatever. Lovely, just threw on goal. A possible partnership for um, Bamford and Rodrigo? Could happen. You never know. Maybe if we put him at striker, Harrison at cam, and then Fiapo on the left in the saved formation. Because I'll just boot it up, please. Get in there. Come on, we've gone from 3-1 down again to get a 3-3 draw like we did against Wolves. Another crucial point, I think, like I say, you know, if we're fighting for Europe, these guys are also going to be fighting for Europe. So we've got to at least get be even in these battles. To be honest, we should have lost that game looking at the stats. But second half, I think we improved ourselves. So with that win, we now sit top of the table. One point ahead of City with 11 games played. Bit of a surprise. I wouldn't have expected that, to be honest. I'm just going to turn over to this game. But, I mean, you know, I'll, obviously I'll take it, you know. That means we're on good track to get into Europe next season. We've got a loan offer for the uh, graduate, the academy graduate, to Genk. I'd accept a two-year loan for him. He's got enough rating, actually, as well. That's good. Um, and we're now in November. Well, we are in November. We're going to be going to December soon. So if we... We've got Spurs next. We're gonna have to try and take that game well. Um, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna keep in mind this formation that you know it could be something for us. But I will be going back to this formation for a little bit. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you are new around here. Please follow me on Instagram, linked in below, as well as my Discord server, so you can get notifications on when I will be uploading this series. But until episode six, I'll see you then.